So last week we talked about saving custom channel strip settings in Logic, so I figure this week we'll just look at templates really quickly. So starting a project off with a template is a really great way to save time. Depending on how complex your sessions get, it could take you quite a bit of time to get a session set up. But if you have a template, all you have to do is open the template and you're ready to go. Now a template can be as simple or as complex as you want and everything in between. So there's no way I'm going to be able to cover all of that in a single video. So today I'm just going to show you where you can access your templates in Logic where you can access the built-in templates that come with Logic, and how to save and create a super basic template. So let's dive into the computer. Okay, so with Logic open, we're gonna come up to File, and New from Template. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna open up this dialog box here, and you can see any custom templates that you've created are gonna be saved in here, so you can open them from here. And if you go over to Project Templates, this is gonna show the default templates that come with Logic. Now all of these templates, including any custom ones that you build, are going to have these additional options down here that you can set up before opening the file. If you don't happen to see this, just click on the details triangle, and that'll show and hide this window. So we're going to cancel out of this, and now to make our own custom template, we're going to go to File and New, just like you normally would. And let's just build a simple 12-track template. So we're going to create 12 tracks. Now because sometimes computers have hiccups, first thing you're going to want to do is go to File, and then come down here to save as template. And we're going to name this and this is going to save this into the project templates. So if we click save here you can see up here now we've got a template created. So if we close out of this and we go back to new from template you can see the template that we made is right here. So we can click and we can open that, and there it is. All right, so that is the bare bones gist of making a template in Logic. So obviously when you're making your own template, you're gonna wanna go in and name all the tracks, color them, add any icons, set up your buses, add any plugins and things that you commonly use. So if you've never used templates before, this would be a good time to kind of sit down, think about what you're normally doing in a session, or how you run your own sessions, record your own music, and build yourself a template. And you can always build more than one. So I hope you guys learned something out of this very basic tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ninja kick the bell button. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.